Bucket list family roll call here in Madagascar. Daddy here, mommy. Here. Dorothy. Here. Manila. Here. Callie. Here. Chameleon. <laughs> Why should we name him? Frank. <laughs> Oh, we're recording. Good morning from Madagascar. I never thought I'd say that. Good morning from Madagascar. Peace signs. And we saw a guy spot this these ants that were here. Are we done? That we, we're done. <laughs> Wait, are we done? Everyone within the sound of my voice, please be sure to check out Jessica's book. book. <laughs> How'd you know I was gonna say I that? I just knew. <laughs> I just knew. Guys, it's the, it's the best book that ever was. <laughs> I have read three books in my life, and I think it's the best. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. It's better than the Bible. Oh, wow, thanks, babe. <laughs> it's, uh, well, holes. All right, it's better than holes. Okay. We flew from Mauritius via Reunion Island. We've been to Reunion Island. Check. <laughs> 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 We've been to Reunion Island. Check. <laughs> On to Madagascar. Yeah, you can go, Kai. And flying in, it was uh, kind of sunsetty, and the terrain of Madagascar was just. We went over some like beach, some weird mountains, but then we landed in this really big city. Are we in Madagascar? Let's look outside and check. Tell me there's no better feeling, especially when you land somewhere feeling completely foreign and out of place, and then you get through immigration and you see someone there, big smile on their face, holding a sign with your name on it. Our new guide, Eperin from Madagascar Classic, is just standing there welcoming us into Antananarivo, or Tana, as they call it. We have that uh, animal we call Fusa. Oh. F O Fusa. Mm. That's Fusa. The, that's the name in Madagascar. Yeah, he, said, he said they have Fusa uh, here. Uh, Did that, Dorothy? It's like a. Uh, the size is between cat and dog. It was such a cool surprise for us when we landed and we were shocked by the people, the place, the city. So much yeah. of this place was just a shocking surprise to us that we didn't expect. The, so there's a disclaimer with this video that you're about to, in a way, right? In a way, we're about to spoil the surprise for a lot of people. Yeah, that's true. Right? So I mean, I mean it to the point where if you think you're gonna come here, maybe don't watch this video because I loved how much of a surprise Madagascar was for us. Jess, have you noticed that old school cars? Do they have crocodiles here? Let's cross the woods. Okay, here we go. Ready, the kids? You know, okay, cross. Let's go, careful of cars. Go ahead. Oh, wow, amazing. Awesome, guys. This is nice. Yeah, Dorothy, you can have the biggest bed. <laughs> You're welcome, sweetie. Oh, they're so nice. Wow. <laughs> No, 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 Kai. Stop down. Mama left you out. Let me see. Wow, what a, what a city. Who am I? Why was I born? Why when I, I was born? born? Where I was born? The most surprising to me was the people here. Uh, I kind of look like I'm from Madagascar. <laughs> Turns out that it was inhabited years and years and years ago by people who used to live in the Philippines. So it was, sorry. Indonesia. Yeah. 
turns out years and years and years ago, it was inhabited by people from Indonesia. So, I mean, half the people looked like they were Indonesian and the other people looked African. And it was just a funny mix of the both of them. Beautiful, beautiful people, uh, but so different than anywhere else we've ever seen. Can you tell us a story when you were little? You want me to, which one you guys want? Some trivia Wait, or stories from when I was little? Scissors. Or think. rock, paper, scissors. There she is. Five hour drive. We drove from Antenna Narivo to Andasi Bay, which is the jungle. Okay. You made it? Welcome. Wow, we did it. Great driving. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're in the jungle. Big pool. What? It was right by it. Dad, it was right by it. Yes. No, no, no. Let's go take our room. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Guess what I found? The world's cutest furnace. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, thank you. It's so cute. What do you think? It looks really clear. She won. You know. <laughs> that, that. I was going to say swim across in one breath. What do you think? Hey, you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah, is that too far? No, three, two, one. Go! summer semester on safari. This is our summer semester on safari. This is our summer semester on safari. Ha <laughs> 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 What animal are we talking about today, Callie? We're talking about lemurs. So we go into the jungle looking for lemurs. It was but three minutes and all of a sudden, lemur, lemur, lemur. And I'll never forget one of my favorite experiences when one of the brown lemurs comes just face to face with Callie. Looks Callie in the eyes and goes <clears throat> And Callie just without hesitation goes <clears throat> Without a beat, I was like, is that coming from you? <laughs> yeah. So the kids were recording their video. Little behind the scenes, I'll set up the camera for the kids and then I'll just go into the other room and like Lisa. eavesdrop and hear what they're talking about. Uh, but I, I make sure I'm out of the room because they just talk so much more fluid and natural when I'm not watching. I heard Callie say, uh, so one of the lemurs came up to me and he made a sound and I already knew that sound. I already spoke his language. <laughs> I already know that. Um, the lemur came up to me and he made a sound and I knew that sound. And he started making it and like talking to it. He started talking to the lemur. He came up what and he sound, like, what, what sound did it make? And he's like. Good job, buddy. That's why he's half lemur now, because he can speak lemur. Half lemur! <laughs> half polar bear, half pterodactyl, half penguin, half, half human, lemur. born in an egg with applesauce, and half lemur. But really, that's what it was like in person. He comes up and mm, 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 and Callie just right away is just like, mm, mm, mm. In my mind, it was the lemur being like, hey, little strange kid, what are you doing? And he's just like, hey, I'm here with my family. <laughs> oh, my. Hey, look at us. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Look. Oh, hey, bud. Oh, <laughs> You're okay. You're safe, buddy. Okay, Callie, come with me. Oh my gosh. 
Callie, were you just talking to him? <laughs> this is awesome. Another one. Wait. Oh, on this side, and then you see the two eyes. Do you see them? I don't, I'm just looking at a stick. <laughs> Here. Really Here is tail. Tail. Two legs, his body. What? Is it from here? Yeah. I'll see it from here. Eberle and John were so good at spotting stuff, even the small stuff. Can we talk about John? So in Dude. Madagascar, you will have like your national guide and then you have like a local guide. So we get to this park in Adasi Bay and John is there to kind of take us around. He really knows the area really well. John could literally find a needle in a haystack. I'm not exaggerating. Like he would Next be like, time. hey guys, look that direction. And he would show us something and we'd just be staring like, I don't see it. Yeah, this is his head. What? Only if I don't, it's like a snake. I don't see it twice. It's like a part of the trees. What's the name of this again? Mossy leaf tailed gecko. Mossy leaf like a moss. <laughs> It looks like a leaf. So what else lives in these forests? Okay, cool. Does it have Changing color. Take the color of the leaf. Who want to sit closer? Who want to hold it in the branch? In the hand? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Because I'm gonna give you to your hand. Is it camouflage on her yellow? Uh, yellow doesn't change yellow. Or some cream, man. I can't do it. Oh. This is awesome, Dorothy. Really? Are, Are you kidding? kidding? Oh my god. Okay, so we have to get out of here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is incredible. It's so big. And it's a male one with the horns. Males have the horns? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Normally two horns, but I think he lost his one of the horns oh. by fighting. And the tongue is the size of the body with the tail. Chameleon have a long tongue. Wait, his tongue is how long? The same size of the body with the tail. He's gonna go to the top of your head, right? No, no problem. No worry. No, don't worry. So. Let him go. Let him go. Go where he's gotta go. This is so incredible. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Can I hold it? Can I hold it? Can I hold it? Yeah. yeah. Everybody will have a turn. What's it feel like, Dorothy? Yeah, dirty. Feels like a is climbing on it. Yeah, it's just laying close. Yeah. Nice window. So soft. Very cool animal. Look at that. What does the chameleon eat? Uh, grasshoppers. Small insect, I said with his long tongue. And look the eyes, you see? Is he sickle? Can you get it off? Do you think if I put him on me, he'll camouflage to me? Oh, and isn't that sickle? Yes, it's very big. He's big. This is the second biggest in all of the country, but the biggest in this area. How he won't fall, he won't fall. He's got a good grasp on you. Just leave him for him. You can't go in your I head. I don't want him to go in my head. Okay. Okay. Jess, let him go in your head. No way. What? <laughs> Jess. It's on your back. All right, you can come to me, buddy. Come on, buddy. You want a good head? You gonna let him climb on your head? I'll let you go on my head, buddy. Does he usually just want to go on whatever's highest? Yeah. Doesn't it feel funny when he like squeezes? Uh huh. The claws are pokey. Doesn't it tickle? It's yeah. We all have to <laughs> it does tickle. It does tickle. His <laughs> enemy is just the bird. The bird Keep it. Him. Oh, birds eat him. There's a big bird called the blue kua. <laughs> is he gonna go on my head? He's thinking about going up. <laughs> he's, got, he's grabbing your hair. He wants to go up. He wants to go up. Hold still, babe. This is awesome. <laughs> That's a cool picture. Back can I stand normal yet? Yeah, you can stand normal. I just want him to fall. Yeah, it's it's green now. It's getting more light green. It's because oh, he's he? comfortable with me. <laughs> Do you see his tail look on the right? Look on the right. Oh, there's his tail. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
<laughs> There's a chameleon on my head. <laughs> Look at its tail, it's way up your head. I'm so glad you did this, I would've lost it a long time ago. Really? Let's bring up This back. is my new favorite experience ever. It. There's a giant chameleon on my head here in the jungle in Madagascar. He's big. Parsons? Parsons. Parsons. Oh, great. I mean the species name. Oh, the species name. <laughs> you thought his name was Parsons? Hi, Parsons. So we can bring him on the um, hike. Okay, pass him over. I think if you go down. Okay, Dad. Process is complete. His eyes are so funny. Oh, he's so cool. What's the lady in um, Sing? That's like the manager, assistant lady. That's a cool picture. <laughs> Do this with the smile. Can you take that picture? Ow. Okay, hold still, man. Hold still. Be strong, bud. You're okay, man. Good job, buddy. Do this say thank you, buddy. All right, bye, Mr. Crawley. How careful his grip is. See you, bud. Bye, buddy. Can you go any faster? <gasps> bye, buddy. You okay, saw... so the chameleons, we saw a chameleon, and it we could hold it. It was called a Parsons chameleon, and it also went on our head. How big is their tongue? As big as their tail. Their tail's like... And their whole body. As big as their tail own. is, like, this big. And their tongue is as long as their tail. And their whole body, too. How about that lemur that was so loud? So cool. One of the guys just starts, like, making this call, and we're all kind of like, cool, dude. Like, No, it was way too loud. I, at least when I heard it, I was like, hey, babe, you need to. <laughs> but then the lemurs just started going off, and it was all around you. Dorothy, there's for sure fairies in this forest. They're in this area, guys. Oh, right above me? Wow. This is the biggest uh, And no tail, you see? There are proportions. One second, I got a great view. Oh, that's the baby. The baby's face. The baby's face is looking at it. Yeah, because only two months old. And mother carried the babies until nine months. Uh -huh. It was just so crazy to hear that lemur echoing through the jungle. It, it, I hope the video represents it well, but being in person, you can just feel it through your body. Wow! Gruta. Ocean Gruta. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's 113 types of lemurs. And, and I think we've only seen six. Six. No. six. Okay, yeah. Out of 113. Six out of a hundred. A hundred. And thirteen. And thirteen. Oh my gosh. Oh geez, they're so cool. How do they sit so confidently on the smallest bushes? Wow. Whoa, where'd it go? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we have babies. Oh, the baby. We have babies? So does the baby just hold on to the mom? Wow. So for six months, the baby lemurs hold on to their mom's chest and they don't and the moms don't even hold on to them too they just hang on super tight and then and for another six months they go on their back and start learning how to crawl and eat by themselves and then they get bigger and bigger and then they learn how to climb by themselves oh. no do you know anything about lemurs i know that some oh i know that 
I know that they jump like parkour people. Um, parkour people? Um, they go to tree to tree like this. Wow. They're only in Madagascar, nowhere else in the world. Yeah, only in Madagascar. Nowhere else in the world. <laughs> Man, props to our kids for handling such a unique, different country and culture and atmosphere. I mean, we're charging through these forests and we're going on super long, bumpy car rides. Like it was just, everyone just put on their big kid pants and we charged. Jeez, Callie, how'd you even do that? Okay, free monster. So we did a jungle safari walk at night. I feel like that was that's kind of one of those things where like, oh, it's getting late, it's dinner time, like do you really want to do this? And then like five minutes in, you were like, this is the highlight of the trip. This is rad. Free monster, free monster. There's a tree frog and then he walks like 30 feet. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a tiny frog. It's so tiny. Again. Oh, it's a frog. It'd be like 100 meters away and then he'd be like, look, here's a chameleon. And like at first it was like funny, we're like, ha ha ha, he finds everything. And then it just kept going and going and going. To the point, if you would ask me now, I'm like, 40% skeptical that any of that was real. That's how impressive his seeking abilities were. Yeah, for sure. John, you are so impressive. If we ever lose one of our children, our keys, a uh, grain of sand, we're coming your way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm mm. Mm mm. Oh, what? <laughs> John. This is like not funny anymore. Like, <laughs> how did you spot this? Yeah, because it's white and it's in the middle of the green. <laughs> Third smallest. Dad, can it's I tell you something? Yeah. What's what's cooler, the bush baby, like the wing we saw, or this chameleon? Oh jeez, they're think? both very cute. This looks like a baby dinosaur. Yeah. It does look like a baby dinosaur. We saw, saw chameleons. 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 Baby, no, sleeping chameleons. <gasps> And also, birds. We saw sleeping birds, and they were, they like were this. cuddling up no. like this in a line. Jess, you're gonna freak out. Look at these birds sleeping. <laughs> Are they in the nest? Yeah, in the branch. They're just cuddling. You can tell it's four. You see, put the tail. Yeah. One, two, three, sure, four tail. I call him Colin Mill and Gracie. <laughs> it was so cute. It was just a giant puffball of cute, of cuteness. Like, but you just wanted to go like this to him. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I just wanted to wet up. You see his tongue? I see his teeth. His teeth. It's, it's pretty cool. big. It sounds like you're pumping up a soccer ball. What? <laughs> That's true. exactly what it sounds like. That tree monster. The tree monster. Really we know what it's monster. called. It's a rodent. It's a rodent. Yeah. Type of rodent. It's like it's a rat mouse. thing. It's a rat. And so, it, what did it sound like, Manila? It ah. sounded like a soccer ball pumping up. It was like. No, do it. And then I thought it was a bug, and I saw some other people like slapping the tree, and I was like, "Is it a bug or something?" And then and it just started. <laughs> and it. Just, <laughs> it's very really aggressive. And then we came back and we're like, Is it I gone? kicked it. I kicked it, and then I kicked it again. They said, "Don't kick it," and then I kicked it again because I didn't want to touch it. Um, it was in the tree. And then I blew on it. Blew into it. Dorothy was like. <laughs> and it was like, shine the light, shine the light, shine the light, shine the light, shine the light. Oh, he was scared. 
scary. Yeah. Like if it crawled out and grabbed our faces, that would be scary. I would be scared if it ate into my mouth, pulled my tongue out. Bro. <laughs> what does this good thing is? Yeah. Who? Stop it. Are we going back to the tree monster? You do it. Go close to it. You, hey, you knock on it. It's sleeping. You gotta knock on it. Dorothy, you go knock on it. One last time. Go, Dorothy. Not your foot. You gotta knock on it like a door, Dorothy. <laughs> Where's it? Where's it? Turn your light. Turn your light. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Sorry, buddy. Good night. We're going. We're going. I just blew. <laughs> You just pooped your pants. No. <laughs> shine your light, shine your light. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Madagascar is one of those places. Who goes to Madagascar? I'll tell you who goes to Madagascar. If you are not very well traveled, I would almost recommend that you don't come here. But that should also be a challenge to people out there who are well traveled or want to become well traveled. You gotta come to Madagascar. This place. It's another world, but I will say it was so surprising to me. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. So who would you recommend Madagascar to? Honestly, I mean it when I say, I almost feel like it's not for everyone. And I love that about it. But I do feel like if you want unique and life-changing, yeah. mm -hmm. this is one of those places that will forever leave an impression on you. I would almost put a list of maybe three countries in this world that we've experienced thus far that are so untouched and raw when it comes to the culture, the wildlife, your surroundings. This is in that very elite list. Such a special place. What do you guys think of Madagascar? Awesome! awesome. And I want to move here. Thank you, Madagascar! Thank you, Madagascar Classic, and Eberin, and John, combine anything. Uh, we really loved it here. Thank you, we're super grateful for this experience, and onward to...